Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to my channel if you... Why do I always do this? Like I touch in my chest, like I don't understand. It is like 8.20 and I have to be at work at nine. I wanted to show you how I made this basket or tray using all Dollar Tree products. At the end, I'm gonna show you how I used it to decorate my hutch. Let's get started with this video. So from the Dollar Tree, I picked up two of their natural colored willow wreaths. I believe they're 12 inches, but I'm not sure. They are the largest that Dollar Tree carries. I also bought one of their round metal serving trays. I start off by giving the tray two coats of chalk paint with my favorite Rust-Oleum linen white paint. Once dry, I take a sheet of printer paper and trace out the circle inside the tray. Now there has to be an easier way to do this, uh, but if there's a hard way, Marta is going to do it that way. So yeah, that's what I did. Cut all the way around and just make sure it fits. I take a piece of cardboard I had laying around the house and tape my paper to it just to make sure that it doesn't move around while cutting. And I cut around my paper template. Is it template or template? I have no idea. I give it a light sanding with a little bit of sandpaper just to remove any of the frayed edges. Now I'm going to be using some of this gorgeous contact paper that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. You can use any color you like that fits your decor. After cutting the paper, I figure out which part of the design I'd like to use. Then I take the cardboard, place it on the contact paper, and trace around it with a pencil. And then I just cut the excess paper off from the sides. I make sure to leave enough paper on all sides so that I can fold this over my cardboard. Now I go in with an eraser and I just erase the dark lines, peel the paper off of the backing, and place it on top of my cardboard. Smooth the paper down, removing any bubbles. I use this little rubber thingy, I don't know what it's called. You can definitely use a credit card or anything else you have on hand. Because I'm going around in a circle with this, what I do is take a pair of scissors, make some slits in the paper, just to make it easier to smooth it down. I realized after the fact that I probably should have left a little more paper to fold over, but we'll make it work. Now I take a generous amount of hot glue and attach my cardboard to my tray. Okay, let's take a quick break. You don't have to use the cardboard. You could attach the contact paper to the tray by cutting it in a circle. It'll definitely save you a few steps, but knowing me, I would mess it up. So I felt like the edge of this needed something. It didn't look finished to me. So I decided to use this cable wire. I have tons of them laying around the house from old phones or whatever. Now you can certainly use ribbon, but the ribbon that I had just wasn't going to lay right. I cut it at both ends, right where the plugs are. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it does have some white writing on it. And I just turned it upside down and glued it to the edge of my cardboard. Then to attach the wreaths to one another, I just used some E6000 glue all the way around one of the wreaths, the one that's going to be towards the bottom, I guess you could say. And then I went in with some hot glue because I'm very impatient and I wanted to finish this project. 
The hot glue dries instantly while giving the E6000 a chance to dry and you can still work with your project. Impatient much? I did go back around the inside of the wreath with some hot glue just to give it that extra protection that it needs or I don't know of another word. Protection is the best I can come up with. Now even after doing all of that, I felt that the wreath wasn't sturdy or the tray. I'm sorry, it's not a wreath, it's a tray. So I felt like it was moving around too much so I used my trusty popsicle sticks with some hot glue and what I did was I tried to stick the popsicle stick in between both of the wreaths through the weaving, if that makes any sense. Then I just cut all the popsicle sticks down to size. These popsicle sticks never fail me. This thing felt really sturdy after doing this. I then go in with some of my chalk paint, my white chalk paint, and just dry brush this all the way around. I didn't mind that the natural color was popping through. I actually like that. So I just gave it a dry brushing inside, underneath, all the way around to get it the color that I really liked. Now it's time to attach the tray to the wreaths. And all I did for that was just go all the way around the outer edge of the plate with some E6000. Turn it upside down and place it on the what's going to be the bottom of this tray. I go all the way around the edge with some hot glue just to give it that extra reinforcement. And just to make sure that these bonded well and to create some weight, I placed a full can of chalk paint right on top. So once everything was dry and good to go, I used some of this Dollar Tree ribbon and I hot glued it around the inside. I can be a little picky when I'm crafting and I really didn't like the way the popsicle sticks looked. But as I'm watching the playback of this video, I kind of like it without the ribbon. So that may come off later, but for now it's okay. I then go in with some white chalk paint, give it a light whitewash and we're done. Now I didn't want to let that scrap go to waste. so. Somebody at my job gave me this. They give me all kinds of stuff at work. They know that I'm like a hoarder, and so they give me stuff for projects all the time. And this is just the inside of a very large roll of paper towels. So all I do for this is just cut the paper down to size, wrap it around the cardboard roll, and then I create a cover for my Dollar Tree jar. And here's the finished product, my Dollar Tree tray or basket. I'm really not sure what to call it, but maybe you can all help me out with that. I'm such a weirdo, I keep staring at it. Like, I'm obsessed with this thing. I feel like the contact paper in the middle just elevates the look. It really makes it look a lot more expensive than it really is. It cost me $3 to make. I don't factor in the contact paper because I didn't use the whole roll. I just used a piece. Now I made a couple of things that I didn't show you on camera. Some of the stuff I already had, but some of the things I made, like this cake stand, you can find a tutorial on YouTube. They're all over the place. You just buy a Dollar Tree glass candle holder and the glass trivet and you just glue them together. And what I did was I took another circle and I covered it in contact paper and placed it on top of the tray just for some decor. That white pencil holder, I added some more contact paper and I just turned it upside down. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Those are my Ikea plates. They're on a Dollar Tree stand. And there goes my, my Dollar Tree jar covered with the roll of paper towels. 
wrapped some ribbon around it, made a little bow, and stuck a hydrangea in there. In the fall, I picked up those little bottles from Dollar Tree. I stenciled one, two, and three. That's very farmhouse. And I love the way those came out. Those are books from the library where I work. This right here, I made um, a while ago, but I just decorated it now. I put some ribbon around it. I took two thingies from Dollar Tree. You put like paper clips in them or whatnot. And what I did was I glued two of them together and then I glued those two to a Dollar Tree pencil holder, wrapped some ribbon around it. I printed out the word bonjour and I put it on a Dollar Tree sticker, which I hot glued to that. And it actually looks like a little milk jug. I didn't intend for it to look that way, but it does. <laughs> And you can put a small Dollar Tree candle on the top there. I have a little oval sign. Back around Halloween, they had this really creepy guy frame and I didn't like him. So I popped out the inside of the frame, painted his face white because I couldn't stand to look at it. And I just put some contact paper on the side of this and I printed out Cuban curls on my computer cut it out and put some scotch tape behind it and scotch taped it to the sign because I may want to use it for something else later. And I placed it on a Dollar Tree business card holder. You'll see I use some of the Dollar Tree doilies, those white doilies. I love them. They just make everything look so, I don't know, romantical. And they definitely have like a shabby chic vibe. Now this hutch I paid 40 bucks for I got it at a thrift store and what I did was I just painted it gray and all of the like the handles and the appliques and stuff I painted white and then I took some stencils that I picked up at Michael's and I just stenciled the doors white and I love this thing I get a lot of compliments on it and people can't believe that I only paid $40. It shows you what a little elbow grease can do, really. Now I just wanted to show you how beautiful these Dollar Tree lemons look in this basket. In the summer, I plan on changing this up and adding some yellow to it, taking away the pink actually and just doing some black, white, and yellow. I think that's gonna look stunning. I really love the black and white palette. I think it's going to go well with many different colors. And that's what I like about it. You can change it up and it's very neutral. So that wraps it up for this video, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye to Scary Bird.